Are you supposed to be drinking on camera? Okay, yeah, okay. For the carry on the BAT, Black Arts uh, Television, I have here uh, Jacqueline Ward. How you doing, Jacqueline? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Okay, listen. Um, tell me something. Uh, wh why do you do art, you know? I've been asking everybody the same question, but I'm not particular answer. Why, why do you do art? Why do I do art? Why? It's the way I express myself. Okay. Some people sing, some people write. I paint. Okay, uh, did you go to school? Did you go to school for, for art? Yes, I did. I've had formal studies okay. in England and in Canada. Oh, I see, I see. And I met you before, so this is not like a trick question. This is your first show? This is my very first show. Okay. And, um... Uh, but, like, are you are you are you familiar with the Toronto art scene? Um, not not terribly. No, I'm just getting into the environment where you know artists. Okay. I'm seeing new emerging artists. Okay. What what what, uh, what vision do you have? What vision do you have? Um, how do you see the how do you see the Toronto art scene three years from now? Well, I can tell you what I'd like to see. Good. Good. I'd like to see um, all forms of art being respected yeah. and not, I wouldn't like to see the division between mainstream and so-called ethnic art okay. I want work like mine work like the art the other artists that are displaying here today mm -hmm. to be respected and to be given the chance to uh, have the exposure that they deserve okay. so what's this right that just sounds real good how, how, how do you how do you go about attaining that how do you go about it? Yeah, is there any particular strategies you have? Like to say, like, okay, I'm gonna have a show. I'm gonna try to link up with a gallery. I'm gonna try to like market my work and network. Like, what's your strategy? Well, my strategy, my strategy is to to uh, start making contacts with people, such as get to find too, okay. the people who also have that same vision, All right. and uh, basically showing them my work. Okay. And um, I'll be doing the same thing to other galleries okay. too. The, the, the more mainstream galleries in Toronto and um, I hope that they will appreciate my work and give me a chance to have the exhibitions too. Okay, the Toronto, Toronto RC is kind of slow, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of slow. Do, you have any, do you think it's a particular attitude that one needs to be able to, to kind of get to that glass ceiling type of thing? Is it an attitude that you need? You know, well, I, I guess there is an, an attitude out there that w where art, they want to categorize it, they want to be able to label every single type or genre of art. No, no, what I'm getting at is that, like, is there, is there, like, okay, you can do, you can, put, you can stay in the studio and produce a million pieces, right? But if, if, they don't, if people don't see them, they yes. don't sales, right? Most artists want sales. Right. <laughs> But some artists go and apply themselves to different institutions and they get, they get turned down, but yet they have great work. Do you think it's a particular attitude from there, like knowing that the Toronto Arts is so, is so low and so small, right? Do you think one needs a particular uh, attitude in order to um, go from beyond just selling their work and hope to get a sale at a, at a gallery, at a, at a friend's gallery? Well, I think the selling, uh, trying to sell a work is really th the last thing on most artists' mind, artists with a vision. They're not looking at sales. What they're looking at is, is, you know, trying to grasp the opportunity for that expression okay. that I was telling you about. Okay. Um, but I think you're right that there is a particular attitude that exists. And what I was trying to say before was that, that, that they, where they want to categorize work. And if your art doesn't fit into a particular category mm -hmm. or group, uh -huh. then you don't get the opportunity to display your work. Right, right, right. Um, so, as far as, like, any advice, any advice for, the, for any younger artists coming up? <laughs> I don't think I'm in a position to give advice. I'm still doing all that I can. I feel that um, in, in, in what I'm doing, my strategy, also in the way that I approach my work, I feel that I am still finding my way. 